my reflection would be on uh, the basics of the African continental free trade area, area signed in 2018 uh, and ratified and uh, going to uh, implementation within a few uh, months, less than uh, a year time in July 2020. And uh, this is one of the biggest market integration efforts that uh, the Africa has been trying. This part of the Agenda 2063 and it is the largest market uh, after the WTO, almost 1.2 billion population of 44 countries uh, uh, in Africa came together in Rwanda Kigali in uh, 2018 last year and signed uh, this agreement, the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement for facilitation of free movement of goods, services, and uh, uh, persons as well. Actually, all 44 countries didn't sign uh, the movement of persons, uh, part of the agreement, but movement of goods and services has already uh, been ratified and going to commence trade in July 1st, 2020, according to the recent information. So my reflection would focus on uh, a couple of points. The first one is, what does this agreement and the ongoing uh, activities related with AFCFTA with the finance sector here in Ethiopia? The other one is, uh, my reflection point would be on the rules of origin, which is a make or break point, according to some experts in the area, which is making a big difference specifically, in fact, this is a very big subject, uh, but my focus would be on the relevance of the rules of origin to the finance sector that we're running here in Ethiopia. So, as I said earlier, this is a very ambitious and big initiative, uh, almost, except one country, Eritrea, all African countries have already signed, actually, there was a lot of uh, uh, processes to engage uh, the big uh, champions of the continent like Nigeria and uh, South Africa were, you know, uh, were not active in engaging those processes. Now, by, by now, almost all countries have already signed and ratified. So it went to action and by uh, July 1st of 2020, uh, trade is commencing. Now, how much the private sector, especially the finance sector, is aware of those uh, processes and what is coming? In fact, if we see the details of the processes, uh, there are three uh, stratas or uh, progressive actions uh, stipulated in, in, the, in the agreement. The first one is 90% of the product categories uh, will be liberalized with, within five to eight years time. 90% of product categories that has been traded among African nations. The other one is the 7% of goods will be classified as a sensitive to be liberalized from 10 to 13 years. This is included in the agreement. And the third category is 3% of goods, which will be exempted from free trade uh, treatment. Uh, and these categories, the 90, 7, and 3% categories uh, of preferences of countries, member countries, is under negotiation as we speak now. Countries are uh, filing their, uh, you know, offers uh, which category of goods and services to be filed under 90, 7 and 3 uh, percent of the goods being traded among African countries. And uh, from uh, the overall progresses, 
Okay. From the overall progress that uh, is going on, if we see its relevance for the finance sector, for example, if you see among the 44 African countries, African-made banks are expected to, you know, freely uh, move in these uh, 44 countries uh, after the action is started. But in other African countries, if you see the presence of foreign banks, it's not uh, their issue, it's not their uh, headache, because their foreign sector is liberalized already. When we, when we take it to Ethiopian case, our finance sector is a bit differently managed for the last uh, many years and expected to liberalize uh, for African banks. So how much is the financial sector re ready for the African origin banks that are coming uh, to compete in the local as well as the regional markets is the, the biggest question. In fact, such kinds of forums are expected to compile position and recommendations for the negotiations that uh, uh, the government is doing on behalf of uh, the overall interests of uh, the country. If you see, we, we have some few banks ac actively uh, working on this area. For example, if you take uh, the Afri Afri Afro Exim Bank, even they are uh, proposing some specific uh, trading measures like open account terms of trade rather than uh, trading in LLC between uh, countries. They are pushing those kinds of elements. And uh, Development Bank of uh, African Development Bank, uh, as usual, is uh, working hard uh, with uh, countries to liberalize according to the schedules that is uh, stipulated in, in the agreement. So the question is, the Ethiopian financial sector is making a lot of refor reforms, as uh, earlier explained by His Excellency the State Minister uh, on his opening speech, and we have been uh, witnessing a lot of changes, actually. But how much is those changes and reforms are, you know, suitable and uh, compatible and enough to host the competitions that we are going to host uh, in the near future, in the less than a year time? I'm sorry, but